All right, hello everyone, um, and welcome to Pennsylvania Ballet Academy's live Instagram. Um, I am David Garapetian, co artistic director, and I'm excited to um, be here and have our conversation with uh, one of our newly um, uh, uh, master instructor, Artur Babajanian. Um, our conversation is going to be uh, about his career and how he transitioned from dancing into teaching and coaching. So um, I will tell you a little bit about his training and his background and then I will invite him and he can tell us a little bit more. So Artur Babajanian was born in Armenia, Yerevan. He joined Armenian National Ballet School uh, 1996 and uh, graduated 2003 and 2003 he received um, scholarship to uh, Zurich Switzerland uh, to go to Dance Academy Zurich under director of Ricardo Duse and his professional uh, experience 2004 he joined Zurich Ballet Junior Ballet and 2006 he uh, got his full contract with Zurich Ballet as a demi soloist 2012, uh, he um, went to Alto Ballet Theater Essence as a soloist. And 2014, he joined Joffrey Ballet in Chicago. Um, and 2017, he received his ABT certification as a teacher. And 2020, he um, joined Pennsylvania Ballet Academy as a master instructor. So we are really excited to have him with us and let me find him so he can join us Let's see oh i can see he's waving at us artur hi hello hello how are you my friend good good how are you good good very nice, nice to see, see you, you. <laughs> this is very strange because as um, probably everybody knows, but I will say we both are Armenians and we always speak Armenian, but now we're going to speak English for our viewers. So this is going to be fun. Right? Let's, let's try. <clears throat> it will be fine. Don't worry about it. Um, Arthur, so I just talked about your incredible um, start of your school and the career and how you are going to transition into becoming one of our um, master instructor. We are very excited that you are here with us. And by the way, our Arthur is in Armenia right now um, for the summer. And uh, we are actually glad that you could find some time to chat with us, Arthur. So how about you just tell us a little bit about uh, your background and how everything started and the dance, uh, and how you end up being over here. Okay, so uh, when I was actually like about six, seven years old, I really wanted to dance, but I went, I asked my parents to, to take me to the Armenian folklore dance. So that's how it begins. So, and then after a couple of years, I was, I was training with the Armenian folklore dance and um, one of my teacher, she told me that apparently I have a talent. So yeah, so they <laughs> they 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 called my parents and they asked asked them what about you guys take him to the professional ballet school. So and um, and then we'll see what's gonna happen. So that's how it begins. So I went to the my parents took me to the because in Armenia, as you know, you've been. You went through that as well. There is only one professional ballet school. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so I went there. They took me straight away, and that's how it began. And then, yeah, so I started to do the ballet at uh, age of 12. Yes, mm -hmm. I believe I'm not wrong. Yeah, so age of 12, I started I start the ballet, and then <clears throat> age of 16, I moved to Europe. Uh, so what was the the motivation with that, you know, like the age that you were going into, the age that you're trying to be considering a little bit more seriously the art, you know, and becoming as a ballet dancer, 
because you know when uh, i've been there in when you're starting in a young age you, you're not even thinking about that and but i know when you were 15 16 you were already thinking a little bit more seriously and how your career is going to be and where you're going to end up and what was the motivation what 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 happened well, there to be honest actually that was uh, actually uh, so the beginning i really didn't like ballet at all so when i started to do the ballet i didn't like because first of all it's it's quite hard and it's a lot of dedication involved so and and as a kid i think it's very hard to be focused on that mm -hmm. so the thing i didn't like it and every time there were every time because in armenia uh, every six means uh, every six months so you have to do exam to be able to pass the the next semester so what happened every mm -hmm. time when i was doing that exam they always telling like there is no progression so maybe it's better if i will change my direction not not to go as a professional ballet dancer and the most motivation was for me because once i remember when i did one of my exams so and they told me again i they they were believing that there was a that's a wrong profession maybe i choose so maybe i need to change my direction and my father actually told me what about you prove them that you can and you prove then, them wrong yeah you prove them wrong and then you decide okay it's not because of the circumstances makes the decision that where you have to go with your direction then you try you do your best and then and then everything is fine so then you you do your own you choose your decision so that's what happened so i try to work really hard just to prove them that i can and then somehow you went, fall in love yes it went inside <laughs> That's right. That's right. That that's and what it know. shows you, you know, the hard work, what it can do. Yeah, it gets exactly. into your skin and into your bone and you fall in love with the art form that you, and, you know. And, and, and I believe you know as well, it's because when you, when you start to do and then things slowly getting, like slowly you start to achieve things and then it's getting better and then you see the result, you get even more so, excited. Yeah. So, yes, so motivated. That, yes, but like you said, uh, the dedication—it's—it's—it's it's, it's really important because, like, like you said, in a folkloric, in non-professional folkloric uh, school, that they told you that you have a talent. Once you went to the professional ballet school, you know there is a lot of talented people, and you needed to work hard, and you know that's so you're not behind. But you know there there are a lot of things that can be distracted once you're a student. And, you know, you need to always be motivated, dedicated, um, and work hard so that you get to your um, destination. You have, to, you have to have a vision. You have to have a destiny, where you want to go, where you want to become. And you have to just dedicate yourself. And, you know, when you work hard, you can achieve anything you, what you want. So. Exactly, exactly. So, so after you... We're working hard. You decided to go a competition, correct? Yes. So no, not me. I decided. They decided. <laughs> okay. So, so the they changed their mind. Decided, yes. So the school decided that uh, maybe I need to go to the competition. So I need to try to go to. And the... what competition was that? So the first competition was in uh, St. Petersburg in Vaganova. Okay. So and uh, so they took so the, the school took me there. We were like four dancers. We went there. That was uh, that was in July. So and then after six months later, so there was already the pre de Lausanne. So they told me they would like to prepare me for the pre de Lausanne. So that was January. Mm -hmm. So that was my second competition. So I went to the uh, to pre de Lausanne, and that's how it begins. So I got a. I got an invitation from a couple of different schools, and uh, so that was um, Stuttgart. Told me they, they they wanted to that I join their school, and uh, so they offered you a scholarship. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, they offered me scholarship, and then Zurich offered me scholarship as well. So and I decided to come to Zurich because. 
there was a couple of Armenians, there was my friends there, that includes you. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I chose Zurich, and so that's how it began. I remember those years, yes. I was already in the company in Zurich right. when uh, Arthur joined the school, and um, yes, everything just began over there, and we became good friends, and and we here we are now. So what? Um, so you went after Zurich uh, Ballet School to the company, which you were a demi soloist, and you've danced uh, a lot of uh, great ballets with a lot of great choreographers, and uh, and you decided to go to Germany um, to explore a, a little bit more uh, with different uh, um, city, country, um, choreographers, dancers, and. And then what was the, the motivation after being in Europe for such a long time, coming to the to United States? Well, you know, I was, I was in Zurich for, I was actually supposed to be in Zurich school for three years. Mm -hmm. But somehow I end up after one year, I got an offer with the Junior ballet. Junior ballet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Zurich. So I got an offer and I was I was so excited about that offer. So I was like, you know what, maybe I should try to, to go straight away to the to the junior. Mm -hmm. So that's how it begins. So to, after two years in junior, I went to the main company. So overall in Zurich, I was there for 11 years. Mm. So 11 years, uh, which was great. I loved the country. I loved the city. The company was amazing. We were working really hard. You know that. Because it was a small company, right? It's a small, yeah, small it company. A, it was a small company. A lot of dancing and you had no second cast. And I, I know this. I've been there. And... You know, but it's yeah. exciting because when, when you're young, you know, it's, it's exciting because you just want to be in every single ballet, right? Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. you, would, you just wanted to have an opportunity and just... To, to be on stage. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, so uh, after, after 11 years, I decided to, to change because, you know, I believe when you are in uh, one company too long, somehow, even though you, you don't want, but you get comfortable a little bit. So, because everybody knows you, you you've done so much, and so... And, I so you decided, you needed new challenge. I needed new challenge. So okay. that was the, that was the main reason that I went to to Germany, mm -hmm. which was I spent there two years, which was incredible for my career. Uh, I started to do my lead roles first time. That was I got the opportunity in Germany. Mm -hmm. and, I had an opportunity to 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 work with David Dawson, which was an incredible journey to work with him to do the Giselle Albrecht. Mm -hmm. It was a neoclassical, so which it was a little bit unusual for me, but the journey what we went from from beginning until the end it was incredible. So mm -hmm. um, I'm very happy nice. that I had this in my life. So after two years later, I wanted, I always wanted to come to, to the United States. You know, when you were in, uh, in San Francisco Ballet, I tried a couple of times. I was taking classes. I wanted to, I always wanted to come to, to United States because I believe the, the repertoire is a little bit different than in Europe. So, and I think... In what way? What is, what was the, what was it different? Uh, you know, in in uh, in Europe, I think the, the the choreographer that I was working with it, with and it was all the time the same somehow. Like, I mean, they are incredible, incredible choreographers. But no, but no I, variety, no variety. Yes, but I think I think in 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 in, in United States they have a little bit. They have their own choreographers, which is goes circle around in in United States, and there is also Euro, which is goes like. So I just wanted to experience both, just to, just to have this experience. So, and I think being in Euro for thirteen years, I wanted to something, something new, mm -hmm. and, and uh, I think United States was the, 
the best option for me to to mm -hmm. go right and, and you joined to joffrey ballet and, and i joined uh, i joined 2014 joffrey yes mm -hmm. And how was that experience for you? It was great. I really love Joffrey Ballet. I love Chicago. It was was really best years in my life. Unfortunately, I had injury there, which is forced me to to end my career. Well, that's that's what I was going to talk about next. So, um, yes, unfortunately, all the dancers go through a lot of injuries oh, no. because that's um, that's. I don't know if I want to say that, but it is true. You know, it's it's part of the journey of this profession. Um, but, you know, um, there are a lot of things you can do to not get hurt, of course, and being careful. But, you know, being a professional dancer, you go through minor uh, injuries or it can be something uh, big. But, you know, you learn from these injuries. You learn about your body and you come back stronger hopefully and continue and in some cases you know unfortunately you know people you know end their careers which i know few dancers that that ended their career but you know it's it's part of this journey so what happened to you arthur what was your injury well in uh, actually in in chicago that was my second surgery i had already one surgery in zurich when i was still when i was still in dancing in zurich ballet Mm -hmm. But um, in Joffrey, I tear my patella tendon. Mm. So there is a, there was a rupture in my patella tendon. So, and um, it wasn't full rupture. So that's why I try to do so many everything basically i try to do therapy every, and therapies every other yeah. i took every other option except just to kind of avoid injections yeah avoid surgery so i did the injection i did the weight therapy i did the prps i did a lot of like uh, physical therapy just to kind of to get stronger to be able to hold <laughs> But unfortunately, it didn't work. So I I was supposed to, I end up basically to do the surgery. Mm -hmm. And uh, which it took me, because the patella tendon, it's, uh, it's for jumping. So, and for the main dancers, you need to, you jump a lot. So, and for the patella, and it was just... It was really hard to, after one year, basically, to go through that. So, and then after one year later, so we came with the, with the doctors that I need to do the surgery. So it took me another year. So after the surgery, they told me, at least you need one year or even more to, to be able recover. To, to recover. But that will be question mark. And if you're going to be able to go back to dancing. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Full. Yeah. Mm. So. so then uh, after after all that year passed and uh, you tried a few times that I know it didn't work going back to dancing and you and your doctor decided that you're going to, unfortunately, end your career. Mm -hmm. um, uh, that's really sad and I'm sorry about that because you had so many years beautiful years to dance and shine and show your talent on stage. Um, that's not nice, but you know, um, something different came to your life, which was teaching, right? And you got passion about teaching to the younger uh, dancers and younger generation. And uh, you had a little bit of experience in teaching and um, you started to take that seriously and you went to ABT to get a certification, teacher certification, which is great. Uh, tell us about that transition, Arthur. Well, I always, I always liked to teach. Even when I was dancing, I was teaching, mostly I was teaching in the companies. So every time when I was coming to, the, to Armenia, I was, I was teaching with the Armenian um, National Ballet. National Ballet with the company. Mm -hmm. And I as well in the school in Armenia where I studied there. So I always liked it that. And then, so I teached in Germany as well during when I was dancing, but I knew 
sooner or later, I, I want to take that, path, that direction. So, and when, when I had the injury, so I had certain time to think about it and just to see, okay, what's going to happen just in case if, if I'm not going to be able to, to dance, to continue to dance. So what, what I'm going to do? So I decided to, to take it, to, to go, f to take from beginning. And so I did a couple of researches where to go to, to study, which, which direction to take. Mm -hmm. And so, and ABT was the, uh, at that time was the best option because it mm -hmm. was a very, it was a short intensive program. Uh, it was a Chaketi, even though mm -hmm. when I was in Armenia, I studied, we, we went through the Vaganova system. So, mm -hmm. so and I, I decided and I thought myself, maybe that's a good opportunity because since I know the Vaganova, maybe it would be better to just kind of to learn the Chaketi and then just different kind of, styles. Mm -hmm. uh, different styles. So, and yeah, so I, I took this opportunity, the time mm -hmm. that I had when I was injured. So I went to New York, I took this intensive program. I got the certification, so, and. Great. And I. That's fantastic, Arthur. And, and now you're here with us with Pennsylvania Ballet Academy and we couldn't be happier to have you with us as well, one of our master instructors and uh, the students are really happy. And uh, you're a great, great addition to our school. And uh, unfortunately, you know, uh, once you joined, everything had to cut short uh, because of this pandemic. But, uh, you know, hopefully we'll, we're going to be over and come out of this, uh, get back into the studios, work, and, and you can give your knowledge back to the students. Um, this is, yeah, such an important time for the students to get, you know, and, and I think it is important when, when there are dancers, you know, just transition from dancing into teaching because you have so much in you that and so much freshness in that, you know, um, uh, that you can uh, give it to the younger generation. I think it's, it's, it's really great. So that's, that's fantastic. Anything you want to add to our conversation? Uh, before one last question I'm going to give. Um... Well, I just want to say that I'm very happy that I'm part of now Pennsylvania Ballet Academy. I'm very happy that I'm with you uh, working uh, with the school and I'm looking forward. We will, I'm sure we're going to do our best to do everything for our student and for the Pennsylvania Academy, just to, just to give, just to produce talents. So, of course, of course, thank you. And we're happy to have you. And lastly, I wanted to ask you, and like a lot of students going to watch this, and what is it that one thing that you would uh, tell them to look for as a student? and looking into becoming uh, uh, as a professional? What is one thing that you would suggest them I, to? Uh, I would say it's very important to work smart. Uh, I think this is one of the key. It's just, if you would like to have a longer career and a long journey, I think you have to start from beginning just to work smart, to learn your body, to know your body, to observe your body, to, to know what you can capable to do. And I think dedication, just work hard, but at the same time, just not repetition, repetition, just it's yeah. not for that. I discipline. Think, uh, work, yes, work hard, dedication, discipline. And uh, in ballet, I think everything is important, every small detail. It's important. Mm -hmm. it, it's a, it, it's a quality. It's not a quantity. It's a quality. You know. So you have to really, mm -hmm. and this this small thing can change a lot. So. Of course. Well, that's great, Arthur. Thank you so but much I would for say that. Work smart, dedication, and discipline. Okay. Well, there's three things. Not the one thing. Three things. <laughs> well, and, uh, it's it's a it's a great. It, it gets into that. one. Okay, well, that's that's really you important. Should combine that. <laughs> 
Well, hopefully, you know, our viewers, you know, and students can take this and make their own and work hard and, um, you know, um, to get into their goals, whatever they're looking for. Um, Arthur, thank you so much for joining us today. You're in Armenia. Please be safe there. And, um, you know, we're going to talk more because we're going to get ready for our summer intensive second session. And, you know, and we can't uh, wait to have you back here. Um, be safe. Be happy. And we'll see you soon. Okay. Thank you. You too. All right. Thank you. Ciao. Thank you. Bye. 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 Well, this was great. Thank you for our viewers for joining us for today. And uh, this is really nice, you know, that, you know, um, we can have these conversations with, with really um, a different variety of people and who can share their stories and their experience, their um, you know, professionalism. And, you know, I, I'm thinking next conversation we're going to have about, since we, we opened a little bit with, uh, Mr. Arthur about injuries. I would like to have a conversation with about injuries and how to prevent getting hurt and uh, and you know what you can do, how you need to work smart. Like Arthur said, you need to be working smart to uh, understand your physicality and it, mentally you need to be stronger and and all these great things. So. Uh, stay tuned. We'll we'll be back and we'll announce when our next uh, conversation will be. It was nice to have you all. And if you have any questions, please send us messages and comments or anything that we can be helpful for you. And until next time, thanks everyone. Have a nice day and be safe, please. Bye bye.